Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. Here we're going to start off by drawing three straight lines. That's in part A and then in part B we're going to use those straight lines to indicate a region that satisfies three inequalities. So let's just give ourselves some more space and starting off looking at the first line we want to draw x plus y is equal to 4. So one way of thinking about this is that we should know that whenever we've got x plus y equal to something we're just going to be joining the points on the axes 4 to 4 because when x is 4 y is 0 and the other way around when y is 4 x is 0. But another way of doing it is just to plot a few points so for example you could choose when x is 1, what would y be, well y would be 3, when x is 2, what would y be, y would be 2, and so on. So let's just draw that line. So there we've got x plus y equals 4. Then let's think about the next line. So there we've got y equals x minus 1. So one way of doing this one would be to choose a value for x and then work out what y is. So for, a, for example, if x is 2, then y is 2 minus 1, so that's 1. Um, if x is 3, y will be 3 minus 1, so that will be 2. And you only actually need two points for a straight line, but it's a good idea to do 3 just as a check. Um, so if x is 4, then y will be 3. So those points are going to be 2, 1, 3, 2, and 4, 3. And then we just join those points and extend it in both directions. Another way of thinking about drawing that line would be to say, well, we know that line is of the form y equals mx plus c, and m is the gradient, and m is the number multiplying the x, so that's 1. So we know that for every one along, we're going up one. And we know that c is equal to minus one. And that's where the graph cuts the, the y-axis. So we can just about see negative one on our graph, can't we? We can write it in there. So that's another way of drawing this graph. Whichever way you choose, it should come out to be the same thing. So that's the line y equals x minus one. And then the last line is the simplest one, I think because it's just x equals 1. So we want the line where all the x values are equal to 1. Well, once we found 1 on the x-axis, we just draw a vertical line. Any point on the line going through 1 vertically, so we could have that point there, for example, or point here, any point like that will be on that line. So that's the line x equals 1. So that's part A done. Now in part B, we're looking to show the region that's satisfied by these three inequalities. Now, because we've got less than or equal to in one of the lines, that's easy because that's going to require a solid line, but the other two both have greater than, so they don't have equals, so we don't want to include the line. So we need for those to include dotted lines. So let's have a look at what that will look like. So because in x plus y is less than or equal to 4, we've got the equals, that's a solid line, but the other two have not got equals. So for y equals x minus 1, we've got the, the line looking like a dotted line, and the same for x equals 1, because we don't want the lines included. So now what we need to do is shade the region that we don't want so that we end up with the region that we do want and then we can write the letter R in there. Right, so we want to first of all look at x plus y is less than 4. So the region we don't want is x plus y is greater than 4. So we want to shade out the area above that line. So we're getting rid of all of that. So we can choose any point in that region and check that x plus y does add up to something greater than 4 in the area that we've shaded out. So for example, if I choose this point here, 
x is 4 and y is 1.5. If we add those together, we get 5.5, so that's greater than 4, so that's good. We don't want that point. Right, so then let's have a look at um, y is greater than x minus 1. So now we want to shade the area where y is less than x minus 1, so we want to shade the area underneath that line, so that's uh, down here. So we're shading out all of that, that's a bit we don't want. Again, we can check that um, we've shaded out the right area. So let's have a look at, um, what should we take? Let's take a point on the axis. So the point when x is 3 and y is 0. So if y is 0 and x is 3, then 3 minus 1 is 2. So 0 is not greater than 3 minus 1. 0 is not greater than 2. So that's good, we don't want that point. And finally, we're going to look at the line x equals 1, and we want to shade out where x is less than 1, because we want where x is greater than 1. So that's to the left-hand side of that line that we're shading. Again, we can check, take a value, any value to the left of that line, and x will be less than 1, so that's the right area. So you can see that we're left with one area, which we're going to label with the letter R, which we do want. So you should find that if you choose any point inside there, that it does satisfy all three of those inequalities. So let's just choose one point. So as our check, we're looking at the point with coordinates, what do I circle there? The point x is one and a half and y is one. So we should find that all three inequalities are satisfied for that point. So one and a half plus one, looking at our x plus y, that's two and a half, so that is less than four, that's fine. Um, if we subtract one from x, we get a half, and then one is greater than half, so y is greater than x minus one, and x is greater than one, because it's one and a half, so that looks fine. 